House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes is with us. Uh, first, do you have any reaction to what you just heard from John Solomon? And then I want to go to his big breaking report from yesterday. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me, Sean. I mean, we have actively been looking into the Clinton Foundation, Uranium One. If you may remember that uh, we assigned a task force leader, Peter King from New York, to look into this. Uh, so we have seen some troubling information on this. And, uh, you know, I can't verify uh, John's reporting. He always does a good job. He has great sources. Uh, and I'm sure there's much more to be learned on it. Let me go back to his breaking news yesterday. What we discovered, apparently, and I don't know how this was not known when we go back, two years now pretty much investigating this whole issue, the, the Clinton bought and paid for phony dossier, et cetera. What we now have found out, there is an email chain or a chain of emails. James Comey is on it, top DOJ officials are on it, and they knew and the Intel committee had, Intel community had massive questions about the veracity, the truthfulness, the validity of the dossier, which your memo and the Grassley-Graham memo point to as the bulk of the applications for the FISA warrant against Carter Page. When did you first find out about this email chain? Well, I don't know that the email chain and John's reporting is the same stuff that we're looking at, although it sounds very similar. Uh, what we have been saying, and this has went as high as the Speaker of the House, we have been requesting for many months now, and I actually talked about it on your show a couple weeks ago, that there are, there are emails where there are redactions that we are quite convinced that if that is unredacted and provided to the House of Representatives, to the, to the Intelligence Committee, it will be very clear that there is very much, uh, it was very well known that there was a lot of information that was not provided to the FISA court uh, leading up to the, war the, the warrant on Carter Page. So uh, I, I don't know exactly who John's sources are, uh, but I do know that we have been trying to get these redactions from emails uh, without looking. It, it's possible that we are, we are talking about the same types of emails. It's also possible, Sean, that there's even more emails that we don't even know about. But, but what we are aware of, what I call the fourth bucket of information, uh, it would be very clear that there were people within the FBI and DOJ that knew well and good before they went to the FISA court that Christopher Steele and others were up to some so you're uh, saying, really uh, bad and nefarious activity. You're saying that these emails would be the fourth bucket, the 302s would be a second bucket, uh, the FISA application themselves, especially the last one pages 10 through 12, 17 to 34, uh, then the Gang of Eight information, those would be the four buckets. What John is saying here... That's correct. And, and those first three, rem, rem, remember, Sean, in those first three, the, the president has actually called to have declassified. But he's holding what it back, he now recently said. is this fourth bucket. Okay, so what I want to ask you is, if they knew, and if the Intelligence Committee knew that they were questionable, that the whole dossier was questionable, and it was the bulk of the FISA applications... And they used it anyway. We know that they omitted that Hillary bought and paid for it with a footnote that said it might be, have a political taint to it, but they didn't say it was the opposition party candidate. Is it possible that they knew it was not true, that they gave it to the FISA court anyway, that they didn't do their due diligence, verify and corroborate it, and that they totally and completely committed fraud on the FISA court, not once, but four separate times, meaning anybody that signed off on it was signing off on an application to spy on an American with evidence that they at best thought could very likely not be true. Yeah, so remember what we've been looking at criminally uh, has been abuse of power, uh, whether or not there was a conspiracy to abuse power. You, you know about that. You've talked about that for a long time. What this gets into is this would be the first clear evidence that we have on another major crime, which would be called lying to a federal judge, which is a crime and a major crime. Uh, so that is but that really would mean, the But the people this. we're talking uh, about would be Comey. Exist, it is the evidence that this, we have. This would be Comey signing off on it. Uh, Rod Rosenstein signing off on the last one. Well, that would we be have, Sally Yates signing off on it, right? Well, they're the ones that signed off on it, but they're not necessarily the ones who would have provided and doctored the information. So really the people that are culpable here are the ones who were, were in these discussions that knew about the information that was not provided to the court. Even though Adam Schiff, who I have a lot of issues with, will be the chairman of the committee come January, will you still have the authority and the ability to get this information to the American people? 
Yeah, I mean, the, the only difference is, is that I will be the Republican leader on the committee. The question is, is that the subpoena power will lay uh, in the hands of the Democrats. But the they Senate would have the, the power, too, so, as well. Like, like I've said, we've... Mm -hmm. That, that's true, but we have also, for many months uh, here, Sean, been willing to, uh, we've said that, look, our investigation's over with. The White House is going to be able to declassify a lot of this information to help us out to get to the bottom of this. All right. It's the Deb uh, Congressman Nunes, you've done great work. So has John Solomon. If so, that basically what I said is true. That is, there is no equal justice, equal application of our laws. That would be shredding, literally shredding, if you're giving false information to a court to obtain a FISA warrant to spy on an American and not even verifying it. Wow.